Hello, Justin from Habitech again, and today I want to show you the new series of Netgear AV line switches that we started distributing. Now, these switches are perfectly designed for any AV over IP or Dante application, as well as many of the other emerging technologies in the AV industry. And there are a number of fantastic features about them that make them a really, really scalable solution that's cost effective and incredibly easy to configure. So the first thing you might have noticed is the front of the switch actually only has a series of port lights because the rear of the switch is where the ports face. And you can mount the switch either way round in a rack. Obviously the uh, rear of the switch with the ports also has the power port for powering up the unit. This particular switch has 12 ports, so that's eight PoE ports for, for example, a four x four AV application, two non-PoE ports where you might connect the controller, and two SFP Plus ports, which are 10 gig for uplinks. So in the simplest application, you might have a 4x4 uh, design, or you might have a uh, 2x6 design, um, and you can keep that within the one switch. If you want to expand that up to an 8x8 application, you can simply add another switch with an SFP link between them, using something like this DAC cable, and that will enable you to have any combination of 8x8 devices. When you want to go even bigger in application, then you would use the switch below it, which is this 16 port fiber switch. Each of these 16 ports is SFP plus, so it supports 10 gig, and it uses Netgear's IGMP plus technology, which means you don't have to configure any of the uh, IGMP snooping uh, or lag groups or VLANs. Everything is automatically configured using very, very easy to use software, which I'll show you in a moment. Before I show you the web configuration menu for the switch, uh, I want to draw your attention to a couple of other features with these switches. Um, the first one is that, as you can probably hear, they're very, very quiet. So the fans are adaptive inside the switch. They're designed for consumer AV environments and pro AV environments. And in fact, if there's low loads on the PoE outputs, you can in fact switch the fans off. They'll automatically come back on if they need to. But this actually has its fans on and you can barely hear it. Uh, the second thing is that, uh, which is a really great feature, and many um, uh, network pros will know about this, is these switches have out-of-band ports. What an out-of-band port does is basically it's a port that does not belong to any other port group on the switch, and it's what you use to configure the switch. So these switches, when you connect to the out-of-band port, are always on the address 192.168.0.239. So let's log into the switch and take a look. So first thing uh, you'll see on the screen is that the switch actually has two menus. It has a main UI login and an AV UI login. And all you need to use is the AV UI login to configure this switch for AV over IP applications. So type in the username admin and the default password, password, and click AV UI login. And <clears throat> the first thing you'll see is an overview of the switch uh, with a graphical representation of the switch on the top line. So how do we configure the switch? Well, very, very simply, move down to the Network Profiles option on the left-hand side. And if I scroll down the page, you'll see that Netgear have preset the switch with profile templates for Dante, QSIS, video with QSIS, AES67, video, audio over IP AES67, and video with Dante Audio. So in our application, we're simply going to use video. So I go to the video line, I click the configuration cog, and I choose the ports that I want to connect the video devices to. So in this case, as I said, the ports uh, one to eight are PoE, ports nine and 10 are non-PoE, and ports 11 and 12 are fiber for uplinks to other switches. So I'm going to click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm going to have eight com combined uh, RXs or TXs, and the ninth port is to connect the AV port on the controller on either Wirestorm or NetVO. I'm going to call the profile name AV over IP, and I'm going to set an arbitrary VLAN ID between 0 and 4096. So in this case, I'm going to choose 100. And then to identify the ports, I'm going to click the color button, choose a port, so let's in this case make it a dark blue, click OK, and then click the Save button. That is the configuration saved. And if we go back to the top of the screen, we can see that the first nine ports are all enabled uh, for AV over IP. I can then connect the 
controller side of the controller for the AV over IP applications to port 10, and I can use ports 11 and 12 to uplink to the switches above it. That's it. Plug everything in and it will work.